Do I just keep this whole hand? We have like a turn one. I want to place this. We have turn turn one this. Turn two, we can buy some space and more likely just use the scorn. Uh, yeah, that seems all right. Let's do this. Sweet. Um, yeah, I've, I've had some good Vitruvian runs myself before, but I found them a bit luck dependent. Um, but if the meta's changed, Pokemon Vat cards weren't that great. Yeah, that's true. Although the um, the one that lets you run faster seems good. I've forgotten what it's called. Also. Incinera. It seems pretty spicy. So I guess we just play the... Oops, I didn't actually mean to. Damn it. I was going to go, oh, I don't know if I should play it on the monotile. Maybe I'll play it over here. And then I misclicked. <laughs> my, my hand landed on my mouse button. Uh, we don't really need this here. Pyromancer, Obelisk, Scarab, good cards dominate well as well. Yeah, I agree. Um, I have enjoyed playing Fat and Gauntlet before. But I have found it to be kind of dependent on what cards come up and the board state. Primus dies to this or loses to Repulsor Beast, which is better. Or do we just ignore it and let the Plasma Storm clear up? Maybe that's an argument for Repulsor, actually. The Claws don't do that much. The more comes in, the Warbird hits us, and then we potentially just have to um, Plasma Storm the next bunch of minions anyway. Although, that said, they're not unlikely to be Crystal Cloakers since we're over here. Repulsive Beast is probably better against those. Yeah, let's just kill it. Nice and clean. Don't think we want the scorn anymore. I mean, this hand has a plan. It is our game plan of the deck. But I don't know if... It's actually going to work right here. Right, so the, we, lose the, we lose the claws, but it traded for both my opponents. Two drop and four drop. So that's good. And an extra mana there. Hailstone gone. Okay. Hailstone golem isn't the worst. We can just run away slightly and play our own golem. That's not bad to have. We'll just play it here, even. I sort of want to come over to this side of the board. But I don't really want to get hit by this. Although... That said, if it does hit me, the Bright Moss Golem finishes it off pretty easily. And I do have an Azaherald Herald for healing. The other option is I could play this. No, that isn't, that's, that's bad. Yeah, we'll go for it. Let's put you... Let's hit there. Well, maybe that would have been better. Doesn't really matter if the hailstone hits at this turn, it's going to attack the hailstone anyway. That's quite bad for us. Potentially. Hopefully, she rolls something really bad and not like Arc Light Regalia. Okay, that's not too bad. But that said, I am on 11. Um, and I may well be able to take another 3. I think that is actually correct. Eat this, come up here, play as a herald there. Um, do we want the scorn? Doesn't really do that much here. Thumping wave, that's good. She's on 20, can we set up lethal? Is it worth just like repulsive beasting this to the edge of forever, playing the as a herald? And hitting her for four? If we have Thumping Wave. Gives us an extra body for Thumping Wave. As opposed to just leaving this guy a four, as a 4-4. Four, four. You know what, that might actually be sensible. Kill this. Kill this. Oh, wait, whoops. That's exactly what I said it wasn't going to do just now. I think playing the Provoke is stronger. That's probably a good idea. Let's put it there, so it plays around. I don't want to just die is the problem. I guess this way she can't actually hit me. 
So she has to have like double chromatic cold or something. So we have a double thumping wave now. That's good. Although it's not actually lethal. Unless she attacks. No. <laughs> it's got provoke. Oh, that's bad. Uh, we've, we've just, we're dead, aren't we? She's got something. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess she gives us lethal instead. I think? Yeah, that's just lethal. We. Sweet. Get all thumping wave. <clears throat> Alright. Mirror again. Okay, let's try and get a good fractal replication off to win this game, I guess. Um, thumping wave's fine. This cards are all fine. This is good. I think you still body block because silence. I wanted to avoid the physical body block so that it didn't take two damage from Warbird. Um, because I wanted to preserve it so that I could attack next turn for thumping wave purposes. For the lethals. Um. Mm. If I'd had a bit more time to think through it, maybe I would have done that anyway. I was in body blocked with it. But the rope called. Don't think we need this in the opener. Probably don't need this in the opener, to be honest. So maybe a bit greedy. Well, not greedy, but we just need like minions to develop. Eh. Don't really like this. I think I'd rather play the Mantella turn one than like Jaxi in this. Okay. That's a bold statement. Maybe we do play the Ghost Links. And the Jaxi in the middle. If that's the, the, the if that's the sort of thing my opponent's going for. We don't need two scorns, especially with all these X ones. We the Master, that seems like a decent play. Does Mantella always give you a one drop battle pet? Yes. There's a set of six that it can get. Um, I don't think it can get faction ones. So it's like, there's a 2-3 flyer, there's a 2-5 celerity, a 4-4 four, four that can't move, a 1-1 one, one that dies and gives you another battle pet, a 1-1 one, one force field, and a 3-3. Three, three. I think that's the full set of it. Let's do you, punt the crappy ghost links, and we'll just put Jaxi in the middle. I really like actually putting this Jaxi in the middle. So the, the ether mass is a bit low impact, but... It carries a thumping wave if we draw it. The Jaxi being in the middle is really nice because the opponent has to come forward to kill it, which pulls him away from the corner. Excuse me, the corners where it can spawn. Um, and in the meantime, we have the center tile, uh, which allows us control of these mana springs, which is supposed to be theirs, which is really nice. KT is currently playing Overwatch, which is making me want to play Overwatch. I wish my computer was powerful enough to, to stream Overwatch. <laughs> I'm playing McQueen, it's my first game, so it's probably going to go terribly. That's fine. <laughs> well, my opponent's really thrown by this, which is uh, good for me, I guess. I don't know if the Entropic Gaze really means anything. They might have just picked it because it's you know, seen and played and constructed. Or they might be playing some kind of sick face deck. They are six and one, so we can expect something decent. That's quite bad for us. Um, in fact, that's pretty bad for us. We don't really have a way of dealing with it right now. We can take a mana tile and play a 4-9. That seems quite good. We also get double replaces, so let's take advantage. Is that good enough? I mean, <clears throat> it will trade with it next turn, but then so will this 4-9. Um, and the 4-9 will do a much better job of it. We can also, we can 
attack with Jaxi to make the 1-1, one, one, and then this will become, if this shoots it, it'll become 1 health. But I think I'd rather just take the Monotile and play my big dude. I like the big dudes. Eh, let's replace the wings. Gazer. Gazer's pretty good, actually. That's another option. Buffing this and getting in, but the Bright Moss Golem's so much more mono-efficient. Rawr. How much do I play around, like, Flash Macanto? Do I care? I'm not going face here, am I? I sort of want my Ether Master to hang around. And I kind of wanted to be able to contest this Monotile, but let's put it over here as a hedge. Flash Macanto's pretty unlikely, but you never know. So there's no way this can run where it can actually get away from the golem thanks to this handy wall. Um, the main risk is the golem dying to some combination of cards. This can't do very much this turn though, which is really nice. I can shoot a Jaxi, which eh. I can shoot this, eh. I can shoot me. Or I can deal two damage to this golem. None of that actually does anything. Um, immediately. So as long as this doesn't get buffed, I think we're alright. Okay, it looks like the opponent's going to hit this and then shoot it with the cannon of Mechazor, potentially. Which will work out fine for us, because we have Scorn. Ah! Speaking of we have Scorn. Speaking of we have Scorn... Oh wow, I think my opponent might have just handed us the game there. <laughs> Holy crap, that's so good. Okay, what do we do positioning-wise? Do I want to hit it with the Ether Master? I don't think so. What else are we doing? Probably just this. Leave this Monotile available. Could put the Ether Master over here so it can take the Monotile next turn. Let's just go Storm Metal Golem something. Fractal this soon enough. Might be able to like Primordial Gazer Fractal Replication. No, it'll have to be the turn after. I think I'll just move up here. Hit this with my face. Move the golem up. Play the scorn. Is there anywhere I can play around McCantle? I guess putting it here. We don't have to worry about McCantle yet, I guess. It's mostly for next turn. Yeah, let's just block him in. It makes the fractal replication a bit better. I'm just going to keep all these cards. They do stuff. It's high noon. It's definitely high noon. Mm -hmm. Although... It's not, actually. Katie may have switched to playing Zara. <laughs> After about 20 seconds. No commitment. No. <laughs> At some point, if I get a new computer, I'll try streaming Overwatch. I warn you, I am dreadful at it, but it's a very yeah. fun game. Um, I should figure out how to stream stuff like Crypt of the Necronancer as well. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of because sort of like Hanzo found him. That's where it's at. Battle pet don't do much. Wow, that scorn was an enormous blow up. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. We're on 19. We have 11. So if we draw... This is 13. So if we draw Thumping Wave, that's lethal. Uh, this can be 14. Right now. Probably, probably going to play the Storm Metal Golem if we don't draw it. I think I'll replace the Cryptographer. I don't really need its effect. Shiro. Also quite good. Um, let me see. I can take some damage here, I think. He says confidently. So I'm going to go up here, come in the middle, kill this myself. Hit him in the face. Actually, I'm not sure there's much point in doing that. They don't, they don't exactly have a lot of ways to deal two damage. Um, 
I don't really need to care about killing this fog. Um, I'm going to go... I'm trying to think where I can go with this golem that plays around Macantor. Like here isn't... No, that doesn't do much. Eh, let's just put it in his face. Screw it. Yeah, he can kill some of our stuff. The Mechanto will be pretty good, but whatever. It takes his entire turn. It doesn't kill this, and then we can attack him with it and win the game. We don't care about Mechanto right now. Man. Oh, it's so hard to do all this in, like, the 90 seconds. There's a lot of processing. Like, realistically, the, the the 30 seconds I spent trying to figure out how to play around Macanto were completely pointless, because it doesn't do enough. It doesn't kill this, and therefore he's going to take 8 from it. And therefore, he's going to die. Um, I guess there is the complication that he can put it here, and it body blocks. Um, so I guess that's not quite true. Yeah, we'd have to find a way of removing it so that we could hit him. Um, although I guess if he ended up near enough to the Ether Master, we could just pump that and hit him with it.